Hi, I'm Nikki Shaw with the Craft Kitchens. My favorite thing about our fruit-filled coffee cake is that it's so simple, it starts with a box cake. And it has a secret ingredient, Breakstones or Newsons sour cream. I know, but the sour cream adds a tangy flavor and it gives the cake a smooth and moist consistency you are gonna love. Let's get started with our boxed cake mix. It's so convenient, you probably already have one in your pantry. Add to your bowl one package of white cake mix, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one cup of Breakstones or Knudsen sour cream, three eggs, and a quarter cup of water. Now mix everything with your electric beater until it's well blended. Now everything is blended nicely. And here we have a 13 by 9 inch pan that's been greased and floured. This smells so good already, so I know it's going to be delicious. Smooth it around a little bit just to make sure that it bakes evenly. Okay, now top your cake batter with spoonfuls of your cherry pie filling. Now I'm using cherry pie filling today but put your own spin on this recipe. If you like blueberry pie filling, try blueberry, or apple pie filling is good too. Now I'm just randomly dropping spoonfuls of the cherries all over the cake, and the cake is gonna bake up over top of the fruit, and it's gonna be beautiful and taste delicious. Okay, our cherries are in place. Now I'm gonna bake our cake for 35 minutes at 350 degrees, or until a toothpick inserts in the middle of the cake and comes out clean. Our coffee cake is almost ready. I've taken it out of the oven, and now I'm gonna sprinkle about a half a cup of planter's sliced almonds that have been toasted on top. This is gonna give your coffee cake a nice little crunch. I love how the fruit peeks through the top, but it's hidden on the inside. The cake is baked up over the fruit. Okay, now it's time for the best part, the glaze. I'm gonna take one cup of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of milk. Now I'm gonna whisk all of this together and drizzle it on top. If you find that your glaze is a little too thick, add milk a little bit at a time until you get the desired consistency. The consistency is just right. Now I'm gonna drizzle a little on the top. Actually, I'm gonna drizzle a lot on the top because I love a nice glaze. Okay, that's perfect. Now make sure you let your cake cool completely before you cut it and serve it. This fruit-filled coffee cake is so simple to make at home, you'll never visit the bakery again. Want more creative coffee cake recipes? Search keyword cakes on craftfoods.com.